Me being excited to do my own art after I finish my school work. Did you know that you can paint a mural in Epcot? During the Festival of the Arts, this Paint by Numbers is a really cool experience for all guests and it's free. You pick up your paintbrush and paint and then paint your assigned squares in a total socially distanced way. You even get a free bookmark with what the mural will look like. I finally decided to try my hand at that moon mirror trend, which turned out way better than I expected. I used joint compound and water to make the shapes, but I think the key for me was stippling with an old brush for texture and painting it when dry. Let me know if there are any other DIY trends you want me to do. Can somebody tell me why parents, teachers, friends all tell you that being an artist is like the worst idea? Because you won't have any money, you'll be starving, there are no jobs in art. Just think for a second. You can paint something once, make prints and products, and sell it in a million different ways, all over the world, for the rest of your life. Come spend the day with me as an art student. Girl, I must... Painting clouds doesn't have to be scary. I like to work on a wet background so my paint blends in and I start by making little upside down U shapes that are highest in the middle and taper lower to the edges. Once I have my base, I wipe off my brush and blend down until I have a flat bottom. Finally, I'll go back in and add a few highlights in the front. As I'm painting, I try to make some of my clouds overlapping and some go off the edge. I hope this helps. This is my second time painting on a jean jacket. My boyfriend and I were not able to spend Christmas together so this will be his late Christmas gift. I really enjoy doing this and I want to make more. Let me know if you guys would be interested. This is your sign to draw a flower without lifting your pen. Let's go girls. This is attempt number three of trying to bring my art to life. LOL that I meet. I should have done a different pose here. Be move your face more. This is kind of cool. I am making progress. Oh no. I messed up the recording. We will try again. Vincent Van Gogh. Everyone told him, you only have one ear. You cannot be a great artist. And you know what he said? I can't hear you. Vincent Van Gogh was a dreamer. And I was running far away. Would I run off the world someday? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I was dancing in the rain. I felt alive and I can't complain. But no, take me home. Take me home where I belong. I can't take it anymore. Hi everybody, so I've gotten a few questions about watercolor pencils, so today I'm going to teach you one way to use them. As the name would suggest, watercolor pencils are water soluble, so you can use them as colored pencils, but you can also use them like watercolors. I'll be demonstrating by painting an apple here, and in this strategy I'm basically going to draw the apple like I would with colored pencils, um, and then we're going to blend it out with water later. So as you saw, I used red and purples for the shadows, and now I'm putting in some yellow for the highlight. And because I want these colors to be bold and bright, I'm pressing down fairly hard with the pencil and putting down a lot of color. If you want lighter colors, you just press less firmly with the pencil. And now here's the best and most satisfying part of watercolor pencil. I'm just taking a damp brush and blending all of these colors together. The colors do stay put for the most part, but if I were to go from dark to light, I do clean my brush. I hope this was helpful and inspires you to paint something today.
feel kind of free We're still the kids we used to be I put my hand on the stove To see if I still bleed And nothing hurts anymore I feel kind of free How to draw realistic faces Step 1. Use grits. Step 2. Blend with graphite powder. Step 3. White pen for texture. Isn't it crazy as an artist you could turn a blank sheet of paper like this into something like this? No one wants your opinion. Here's one technique I like to use. So it's where you just put a load of paint down on the surface and then blend it together with a dry makeup brush like so. I used a spray bottle there as well, which had flow improver and water in it, and that can help loosen it up a bit. It's best if you work quickly. And keep wiping the paint off the brush on a tea towel as you go along. Hope that helps. Sketchbook check. Find a picture that you think that is absolutely adorable. Next, find one that you took a lot of time on. Now show off your most recent. And I'll find one that you absolutely fucking hate. Please like, comment, and follow. I might follow back, please. To make those rainbows in my mind when I think of you sometime and I want to spend some time with you. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Yesterday, I didn't have a commission to work on, so I decided to start a piece. Just something I've had in my head for a while that I really want to do. And it was so good for my soul. I feel like some days I let the business side of my brain take over the art and passion side of my brain. So here's to being creative, to letting your art be your passion and being inspired. I decided I needed to start new. This new painting is based on a classic named The Allegory of Patience. I thought it was fitting because I literally have zero patience and haven't finished a whole piece in weeks. I will probs paint over this one too. Sometimes I get frustrated with the fact that artists have to rely on social media in order to succeed. It always becomes a toss-up of will it go viral or will you get 20 likes. And I'm not trying to make a guilt TikTok, I promise. I just want that one chance to get recognized, as all artists should. So if you see art on this platform, like it or share it, because the artist behind the work is amazing and worked hard as fuck on it. And I'm talking about all art, not just painting. So what I'm trying to say is we all just need a little support sometimes. How to start an oil painting. Today, you'll need an underpainting color, some paint thinner, a wide brush, a painting rag, or some paper towels. Get a primed canvas or wood panel. On your painting palette, dilute a bit of your underpainting color with lots of paint thinner. Cover the entire surface with your paint thinner and wipe any excess off the surface. By adding color to create shadows and removing color to create highlights, make your first layer a value sketch. <laughs> 